Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another unboxing for you. I just came back from lunch and this was just sitting by the mailbox beside the road, just just hanging there. Not sure why my postman thought that it was okay to leave my bag right beside my mailbox, beside the road. Anyone could have just pick it up and go. So luckily this is a quiet neighborhood so package is here and let's open it up. So based on this envelope you probably can tell that this is a bag from KMM. Another bag from KMM and they did send me this free hang tag. So right now, they don't include a free hang tag with your purchase of tote bag. But if you add the request in your shopping cart, they will definitely give you the free hang tag to go with your tote. The color of the hang tag will based on the color of the strap you choose. So I was pretty impressed with their customer service. Usually people request to put tags, quotes or their name on this hang tag. And Whenever I order KMM tote, I never requested to put anything on the tag. I don't know, I like it empty and maybe sometime I'll try to put on some rivers and stars and decorate it myself when I have time. So because I didn't request to put anything on the tag, their customer service person reached out to me and asked that if there was a mistake and do I need to add something back to the tag and I just told them I'm one of those weird ones that love an empty hang tag so I, I was really impressed that they pay attention at the details and reach out to me when they have caution instead of just you know ignore you and just pack and ship out the order long story short let's get back to my unboxing so this is how it packed This is one of their discontinued color. I believe they call this their eucalyptus. Let's take it out. That's how they ship. They fold it up a little bit, but you can reshape it easily. It's a thick full grain leather, so you can reshape it and it will bounce back into shape in no time, especially once you started using it. I love this green color. This is one of their discontinued color. I decided to pick this up before it's gone. I think the other color that I like is gray from this collection. Maybe I'll get that too, but I feel like at this point I'm having too many KMM and Co bags. In case this is the first time you are watching my unboxing video. This is a classic top from KMM with their full grain leather and with this leather you can see it has a lot of pull up to show the variety of color and this is considered a smooth leather. Recently I have been obsessing with smooth leather. With pebble leather they are nice and slouchy and pliable and all that but with smooth leather I like that when you get a new bag it seems like in this such a good condition and smooth and then once you started using them with the weight of your stuff and all that it will start to have this wrinkle and texture and, and it's really fascinating to see how a leather bag age and develop patinas and all that. So I'm really excited to have this leather tote and looking forward to use it and see how it develops. For this tote, I decided to choose the custom color strap with black color this time because now fall and winter are coming black would match up my cold weather clothing better on the inside you do get their standard leather loop and then on the other side you have a slip pocket everything is pretty standard if you order their classic tote so otherwise it just empty and line inside the texture inside is pretty smooth a little bit different from usual suede leather texture. This one is kind of 
smooth, almost feel like it is treated or it has been burnished. It's a smoother interior texture. This is actually not the only KMM tote I bought recently. I have another one that I bought also a green tote. <laughs> I just love KMM tote and I do use them quite frequently that's why I keep buying them. This one is their Italian leather in green color. I was busy and I had visitors so I didn't really film a full unboxing and going through the whole thing and I thought because I've been doing KM Tote unboxing for so many times if you have been here you probably figure it out at this point but since today I'm doing another unboxing I thought I would show you what I carry and what's in my bag so the inside of the bag this one it has this really beautiful green suede leather texture and I usually do have a bag organizer inside. This one, I have been using it for probably almost a year now. So it does look a little bit up, but oh well, that happened. This is what inside my bag, 75% alcohol wipes. I usually wipe my hands if I go to a restaurant and eat something with my hands like potato chips and all that. I'd rather be careful than sorry later so and then my Fuji X100V usually I bring this camera with me because it it does take a really good snapshot and if you like me to show you some of my photography work let me know a backup mask I don't wear masks in the restaurant but if I go somewhere shopping like TJ Maxx if it's crowded I would wear a mask not so much because of COVID at this point I do notice that when I'm wearing a mask in the last couple of years I, I don't get sick so often almost never get sick compared to it used to be so I do feel like wearing a mask does help me avoiding some other viruses and then this is my COVID vaccine. I already got my second booster. This is a hand cream from Trader Joe's. I like this hand cream. It's, it's not very thick. It's kind of just the right consistency. Sometimes my hand get dry because I love drinking coffee. So sometimes my hand get dry and this seems to help. Like I would use it a couple times if I'm out and about. And then just a glass for my glasses, a wipe for my glasses. What else? My car key and this pencil case from PLG. I actually use it to, to store my all my keys. A lot of key, isn't it? And of course I have a tracker. I have a tracker with this cute. I got this from Amazon. Isn't this cute? <laughs> so that's how I use this pencil case to organize my keys. Another mask. And then my heart medicine. I don't take this every day. Probably not many people know that I have issues with my heart. So probably why I just trying to buy all the bags I want and enjoy life because you never know what would happen and then my wallet right now I'm using this Dooney and Bird Florentine leather wallet and then a backup battery for my camera and then let's pull this out look at that it's looking pretty bad isn't it <laughs> I definitely need a new one I do have a new one. I did get a new one. I just haven't had time to just transfer everything. Maybe I'll do it today, but I like to use my stuff to really to the end of its life before I toss it. So I probably will continue to use the old one until it fully breaks down or something. That's all inside my Italian leather bag. 
For this Italian leather bag, it's a very slouchy pebble leather bag. Very soft. Look at that. I can completely squish it. <laughs> and this is a darker green than it looks if you saw some other people's Italian leather bag. Originally, it's lighter color, but I like a darker color green, so I conditioned it with the Chamberlain leather milk. So it definitely darkened the leather quite a bit. Now it looks almost like avocado color. Let's see if I can sh show you the original, the inside, the pocket. Because this is vegetable tan leather, so even the pocket probably patina slightly since I had it. Trying to show you the difference in color. You can see that the, the pocket is slightly brighter compared to the, the outside that I have conditioned. So that's all I have to show you today. This is today's unboxing and this came pretty recently. So both green tote. Which one do you like better? The pebble, Italian leather, pebble leather, green tote or this smooth leather? I think they call this green cordia that has pull up and color variation. Which one do you like better? Let me know in the comment and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!